Captain John Martino and Captain Matt Benhoff here. We're uh, at Mirrors Marina in Annapolis, and we're uh, right where our our uh, school is. And we're here testing for Chesapeake Bay Media, the Rain Man uh, portable water maker. And it comes in a couple different configurations, portable or it can be installed. Isn't that right, Matt? Uh, that's correct. They've got a few different models ranging from 12 volt systems to 110 uh, systems that you can plug into any outlet and even uh, gas powered ones. And they can design to be obviously portable or uh, you know, semi mounted into a boat. You've been making water here for at least, what, 40 minutes or so? Yeah, at least 40 minutes, probably about you know, 25 to 35 gallons an hour it's been making. And uh, you know, I brought the, the equipment down here, read the instructions once over, and I had the whole thing set up in maybe five minutes. That's pretty cool. And I, you know, I've used water makers offshore plenty. You know, you can't carry enough drinking water for the crew when you're out there for two, three weeks in a lot of cases. Tell me a little bit about how easy it was to set up. Uh, having never set this up before, it's actually really neat because, you know, I put the, the intake hose in the water, I hooked up a, the, the hose to the pump, and then that was pretty much it. Turned the switch on, and I was off and running making water. So the first time I did it, they said to let it run for about 30 minutes. The way this thing works is you have, we have a pump here, and the pump is drawing water out of the bay through this clear hose. And it's going into the pump, it's coming out of the pump at high pressure. So this is the pre-filter here. And then it's pumping the water high pressure into a series of membranes. And what pressure are we running at right now, Matt? So right now we're at about 400 PSI, which is what they recommend for this type of water. Uh, so we're in kind of a brackish water, so not full on salt water. So they recommend to back it down a little bit. We have the green hose here, which is the brine. And so that's discharging water that we uh, are not going to use for fresh water. And the white hose is our product water. So that's our output. That's what 35 gallons an hour looks like. Most Offshore boats or bigger boats have the water makers, but now this could go on just about any boat. You could put it on a, you know, a 30 foot sailboat or even a runabout. So there's also some different power options for powering this. That's correct. You can go with a 12 volt option, so you could run it off any kind of boat batteries or even like RV batteries. There is a 120 outlet uh, model. That's what we're using here today. And then they've even got a gas powered one. Moment of truth. You ready? Let's do it. Cheers. Tastes like water. Yep. Tastes good to me. All right, Matt, so we have to send this one back, yeah. I know, but uh, I kind of like this. Uh, might want to get one. Where do I get it? So the CTAS group is the, they handle all the U.S. sales and distribution. You can give them a call and they will actually be able to specifically tell you what model or size you need for what you want to do. Awesome. Well, uh, should we have another glass of water? Let's do it.